What the heck the coots doing? My God, Cody has an absolute loaded flooded cornfield. This is insane, man. This is impeccable. Well, as you can see, I'm still stuck with old John Lehman here at the old dive bomb compound. And we're gonna be doing some duck hunting. Today is our final day of duck hunting. Our buddy Cody left us, pretty much everyone left us, and now it is just John and myself. And uh, Nathan is also around the farm today, but he's going to be hunting a different section of property. And Cody was like, hey, I got these two sneak boats. You and John should take these around the 203 property and go try to shoot some ducks in these. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on today, but uh, I'm kind of excited for this because I've never done anything like this before. So, Cody has these two super nice aluminum sneak boats, and they just got these small mud motors on the back of them, which also I'm pretty sure only one of these starts right now, so we have to fix one. But uh, yeah, it's just a small little sneak boat, and they got folding doors on them, so we're just gonna drive these things around all this flooded corn, pick a spot to hunt, and uh, kinda just honestly do whatever we want in these boats, because we can go anywhere. But John, are you able to drive one of these? Because your track record, I don't know, man. There's not a body shot for these boats around here, so you better be careful. I just want to say none of those accidents are my fault. Except for one. <laughs> this is the one that starts, I think. All right, hang on, hang on. Choke it. Okay, try it. Nope, that's Wait. the one that doesn't start. Wait, pull Do it over. Thing? See if it starts. Pull Put that over. Oh, God, yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, dude, we're golden. Well, this one's good to go, man. All right, let's try the other okay. one. Let me bring it around yeah. town. Bring it around town. Oh yeah, baby. Dude, we're just good to go. John and I are super hungry. We're gonna go get some Casey's pizza. So we got a little food in our stomach. So we're gonna rip back here, get all of our gear on, and we're gonna go hunting. But this is gonna be super fun. Oh God, look who just pulled in. Mr. Law himself. Hmm. We should probably get out of here. We should probably hide that. It was at this moment that he knew. He f up. How's it going? How's it going? Yeah, y'all have any luck? Oh, we haven't uh, got out yet. Out here. Ready to go out? Yeah. I'll check your old yeah. uh, stuff real quick. Sure. Permits, shotguns. I actually get to shoot today. Um. Have a good rest of your day. Good start to the evening. The officer we were joking about at the gas station just ends up rolling up. We should have asked him how his Casey's pizza was. All right, shall we let her rip? Pretty much, I guess, bro. Yep. It ain't got no gas in it. All right, stop number one. I gotta hit a little decoy load up. All right, that should do. That puts us at a little over two dozen of the Dive Bomb Industries F1 FF Mallard floaters. Uh, you guys have seen these things on the channel. I've been using these a lot this year. These things are absolutely amazing. So if you guys would like to check out the Dive Bomb Industries F1 FF floaters that we are using in today's video, make sure you guys go down in the description of this video and click on that Dive Bomb Industries link. But now that we got our spread, me and John got to pick a spot. And as you can see, old Johnny boy ripping up the old cut right now. Anytime now, John. Anytime. What up? What up, Matt? What up, man? <laughs> yeah. Oh. How deep you think it is right here? The same depth of was over there. Yeah, they look good. We made it out, we got our spread set up, nice and tight to the corn here, and 
We got the sneak boats out here, and we're gonna shoot our limit, so. What's that thing on the back? Oh, maybe it is a cover. Hey, I got a cover. Nice. Where the heck is mine at? What the heck? My cover looks really good. The heck? What the heck? Should I cover it with this red life jacket? Oh, oh. We just got busted. All right. Well, that pair didn't make it out. <laughs> no, that was that was decent. We went, I went straight for the green head. No, you're good. I I saw that. And I'm like, well, all right, <laughs> you knew I, I was gonna do I that. Was so. like, all right, I guess. <laughs> Those worked in perfect. Yeah. That, it took a minute. Like we had to work to get them in. But when they when they finished, that was so close. That was right oh, there. That was pretty close. That was sick. <laughs> This is a fatty. Yeah. It's a big duck. Little hen action. Yeah, that's a big that's a big mallard yeah. that Drake. Look at its neck, dude. Yeah, dude, that thing's fat. Fatty. It's a thick head and neck on that thing. Four nice curls. Look yeah. at that. Oh yeah, mature mallard with only two curls. I shoot them twice as big in Wisconsin. Holy okay, shit. bud. All right, John and I just made a switch. We have about an hour and a half left. And uh, most of these ducks were hanging out on the other side from where we were. Not a lot of them were making it all the way to us to see us where we were. So we decided to switch over to where we've seen most of the birds flying and try this last spot here. Cause we had those two come in really nice. Um, but like I said, most of the other ducks weren't making it quite that far back on the property to see us. So we're gonna go closer to where they've been. We were in the sneak boats in the other spot and whatnot, but now this spot that we came to, we're a little closer to the edge. It is super shallow. It's just about knee deep and uh, we don't have too much time left. So me and John are going to put the sneak boats away. We made the decision to do that. And then we're just going to try to stand in the corn. But there's a ton of birds flying around. So I got to get my boat away and get over by the spread. We'll just crouch down when they come or whatever. Yeah, the wind's like dead calm now. It's non-existent. <laughs> What the? Really? They landed right on the end that we hunted. Yeah. Dude, what the? Bro, right in the same strip. Okay, pick the decoys up. All right, spot switch number three. We were a row too far over. For some reason, these things are just stubborn right now where they want to land. So, what last switch of the night. Hopefully this works. Should we do it? You have to if you can. There we go. We have to do it. All right, little pintail action. With what we've had going on, this came by in range and uh, we had to do it there. We just got set up in this spot. Plus we can have four mallards and then bonus ducks after that. So that counts as one other duck than a mallard. So we had to try it. Nice bonus duck, brother. Drake? Yeah. Nice. Not much of a sprig. Oh yeah. But chalky topped out. Yeah, that's not that's not bad at all. Not sure. It's nice. Alright. Well, we had to shoot something in this spot. Pintail, I had to. Yeah. You're like, that's you if you want to. I was like, oh, yeah, might as well. Pintail, bro. Should we do it? Drake Mallard had to. Oh, 
Those are gonna be our shots today, man. Well, there's like no wind now either. No. So it's like, and it's getting down on time our last night. Those are like, they're, they're in all range. All shots. Whenever you want. I'll shoot the one on the right. Okay. Yep. Good shooting. Nice job. That's what we wanted. Ain't wasting shells today. Ha! You shot the hen. I know. Ha! I had to. I got the Drake on the last one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not bad. That was good shooting, dude. I think once they get on this side, they can see the sun's glowing our decoys. Yeah. Up. And then the waves kind of help. Right. Nice. Oh, All sweet. Right. Heck yeah. Awesome. Oh God, oh God. Do you want this one? Is it a Drake? Do you want it? I was like, if he's not gonna get him. Well, I was, I didn't know if I had any shells in, so I was constantly Got ya. telling you to shoot. I, I was just getting ready to back you up. Nice though, that's three for you now. Yeah, we only need one more mallard a piece. One more a piece, awesome. I hope you guys could see a little bit with us looking into the sun, but this is exactly where these ducks wanted to land, so we kind of had to look into the sun. We had no really option. We we're like, we're gonna set up right here, look into the sun, and uh, try to scratch our ducks out. This is this is going crazy good. Uh, the last few of these wanted to come right in. I have three mallards now and a pintail. I only need one more mallard, so I'm gonna wait for a drake to come in. Okay, now I wish we had a dog. Yeah, you're doing good though. You're a good dog today, John. I'm proud of you. It's not mucky bottom at least. No, it's it's actually really hard bottom. It's nice. <coughs> oh my god, John. Okay, I need to get down. Where did those come I, from? I, I don't know. That's your side, babe. You gotta look. I, I, I was watching the other ones. <laughs> that one come out of bro oh that was my limit right there bro that was a drake mally oh, dang it dude biggest you... oh ever. no way that just happened kill him John. Mindak shooting bad now. Okay, well, I got my last. Shot yours, bro. Yeah, I got my last duck. Hang on, want me to show you something? No, no. Hey, no sky busting at the King Ben property. Stoke, he's just like, what the, f bro? Yeah, Cody's like, come on, guys. All right, last duck for my limit. Another nice old drake. I gotta get back so we can hopefully let John get his. Okay, you're up, man. Hey, one more. That's a lot. Oh my god. Yeah, you're gonna get one here. Dude, those green wings are all in Dang, dude. Did you see all those green wings? I was triple wick. Checking sunset and that happened. That's you. All right, take me back to the truck. I'm done. I'm done for the year. All right, I okay. have my chances. I'll be done. I have one shot left. Oh wow. my god. I'm letting BW Films fans down so hard. What? What? All right. Well, here, here's my guy. Hey man, it was a good yeah. year. It was a great year it, of duck hunting. It I was, we only have like two minutes left anyway. Should we just call it? Yeah, I think that's just a sign for Mindak to just put Wrap the gun it down and be like, all right, we're gonna 
like rethink ourselves over the season and come back strong. But the teal are just mobbing us right Yeah, now. the teal are everywhere right now. But I think that was a good run. <laughs> it was a good run up until the last four birds I tried shooting at. Yeah. That's it and that's all, fellas. That was a fun hunt though. John and I just got back to the boats and made our trek out, but check this out. That was a, that was a good shoot for us. I got my one pintail. I ended up with my four mallards. One was a hen. And then uh, John, he just could not get that last mallard. He was struggling a little bit. I think you missed nine shots in a row. Like I said, I'm glad the off season's here. I need a little, little break. Yeah, also tell them why you have sunglasses on so they don't think. Oh, I got sunglasses on because these are prescription. And if I only grab one pair of glasses, like I'm stuck with them for the rest of the night. So nice. I can't see shit out of these things. <laughs> okay. Look at this guy. You napping? Look what the cat drug oh. in. <laughs> oh, Nathan, listen they, to this. So, did you shoot anything? Yeah, we shot four. You shot four? Yeah, it was great. It was actually a really good fun hunt. There was three of us down in the south and they worked in perfect, right over our back, came in, right in the decoys, it was great. Oh yeah, nice yeah. dude. John, he was really smoking them. Yep. John was. Then that last one, Couldn't hit 0 for 9. It. Buddy. Yeah. Couldn't finish Buddy. it Dude. So for those of you that didn't see the last vid, this is a mallard. No, I'm just kidding. So if you guys have seen the Catch and Cooks, you know that I love to pluck my ducks and John as well because they're absolutely delicious plucked, but usually I'm just ripping the feathers out. So Cody has this sweet machine. When you shoot a pile of birds especially, it makes it super easy. And it pretty much cuts the plucking time down to an eighth of the time it would take you to rip them out, unless you're like, crazy at ripping them out, but it speeds up the process a lot. So check this out. So as you see, John's got his old duck there and then he's gonna bring it over here to the fowl plucker, which is pretty much just an electric motor and it has like some rubber paddles on it that rip the feathers out. So this thing spins really fast, rips the feathers out and then this is hooked to a vacuum that sucks the feathers up. So we're gonna turn the old vacuum on. John's gonna fire up the plucker. That thing's spinning and then you just Pull your wings back, put the duck in. He's gonna clean that thing up. I can't show you guys too much about the cleaning because unfortunately YouTube doesn't really like that. So uh, he's gonna rip the rest of these feathers off. We're gonna fire up the Blackstone and cook this sucker up. All right, we have our breasts here. We just used whatever seasoning was sitting here. Father figure flavor, steak seasoning. Did a little scoring and uh, maybe a little too deep on the scoring, but it's gonna be just fine. You wanna take these bad boys and lay them fat side down. All that fat's gonna render off and these ducks are gonna cook in their own fat. It's gonna be a nice little tasty meal. You want them medium rare. Anything past that, not very good in my opinion. So we're just gonna watch these carefully, probably cook them anywhere from, depends how thick they are. This one's not too thick, so we're just probably gonna do like three and a half to four minutes each side, and then we're gonna taste them. A few moments later. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. All right, cut the brass, man. See, old Mindak might not be able to shoot ducks, but I'll tell you what, he sure knows how to cook them. Well, yeah, you gotta be good at something, man. Right, right on. Shout out to Chef Layman, baby. Never fails, never fails. Oh. It seems like no matter what seasoning you put on this stuff, it's always good. Also, excuse my hair, it's getting kind of insane. Old BW needs to get a haircut, but they're kind of booked out around the holidays. So I will get this old mop cut up one day, but it's not yet in this video. But with that said, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys click that like button and subscribe to the channel down below this video. And we will see y'all on the next one. See ya! See ya!
Thank you.